Good morning, everyone. It's your boy, Rome. I would like to say hello to everyone out there in YouTube and Facebook land. Today's blog is going to be on um, action cameras and the fact that I did a slight upgrade uh, for my B-roll cameras uh, that I usually mount on my bike. And as many of you have known, if you've been following my videos, that you know I use a Sony AS200V as my primary camera and then I use the GoPro Hero Session, which was the 4, as my B-roll camera. Well, recently GoPro has come out with the Hero Session 5, which is the 4K version of the original um, uh, cube-like action camera that they, they came out with. And if you guys have seen some of my previous videos and you saw my prediction as to what GoPro would most likely do, uh, concerning this small form factor for these little cameras is that they would come out with a 4k version of this camera and most likely would have a bunch of new features which should have been included in the original model well this here is actually the GoPro Hero Session 5 as well as this one is okay so there's two of them just so if, in case you're curious but one of the cool new features that they have with these new cameras is that they have voice control, you know, which is a really nice thing. You know, if you're mounting these cameras to a distance or you're putting them someplace that's up high out of out of your range, um, like a lot of times we shoot corporate events or we'll shoot weddings and we need the cameras to be, you know, up and about, you know, where we can't always gain easy access to them. So there's commands that you can give these cameras as simple as GoPro record video and it automatically starts to record video. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, take a photo. GoPro, burst mode. GoPro, turn off. So, not saying that these simple features that should have been included in the first models for most people will be enough to upgrade for me you know i think about a lot of this as you know things that i'll use in my blogging for you know my cycle you know uh, videos and things like that as well as my everyday use in my studios and events that i shoot for clients so usually that's how i make my decisions and like i said if you watch my previous video you know that's kind of my thought process when I look at new technology is, you know, how will it apply, you know, to my everyday workflow? And is it something that's going to be dependable? Because dependability for me is one of the most important things. Now, at Best Buy, these cameras are $299. And what surprised me was they gave me a $45 gift card uh, along with the purchase of the $299, you know, uh, camera, you know, which in, in theory, you know, reduces the price, you know, by almost $50. So you're literally almost getting the camera for $250, you know, something along that line. But if you remember when the original session came out, if you're familiar with them, they were $399, which is very close to GoPro's mid-range um, high-end action camera. And this year they came out with this one for $299. The GoPro Session 4 still exists and you can get that for $199. So the disadvantage to that one is, is that it does not have 4K. If you're interested in shooting in 4K, it does not have a lot of the same frame rates and controls that this camera will have. And what I mean by that is, you know, uh, uh, shutter speed, you know, ISO controls, things like that. And, but, Overall, I still think it's a good investment. It's a good camera. Now, I think if you wait a little bit closer to the end of the year, you'll see deals at places like, you know, Best Buy. You'll see deals at um, uh, Micro Center, uh, Walmart. You know, a lot of the online stores, maybe even Amazon. You know, reducing the price on the original GoPro Session. If you guys are interested in that camera. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch base on you on this with you guys and uh, show you what my upgrade was um, and and my thought processes as to why I decided to upgrade to this camera I am still torn 
because I'm looking at, you know, the Nikon Key Mission 360 as a 360 action camera. I've also looked at the Samsung 360. Well, I no longer have a Samsung phone, you know, after the recall for the Note 7, so now I have an iPhone um, 7 Plus. So that, the Samsung phone is pretty much out of the market because of the fact that you need that phone in order to control it. As far as the Nikon 360 goes, I have seen so many horrible reviews on that camera, on the application that it uses to, you know, your, for your smartphone or your tablet. So I think what I'll do on that is, you know, similar to what I predicted on this uh, camera from GoPro. Nikon most likely next year will come out with another version of that 360 action camera that will be, uh, you know, the second version, which will also have all the new features that we thought this camera should have come out with. And I think a lot of the action cameras, the 360 cameras, will jump from 4K to possibly 6, maybe even 8K, just because you need that added resolution, you know, for the 360 uh, quality of the video, because many 360 cameras still look a bit fuzzy and very soft. Uh, some of them are just horrible, but you know, that's just, you know, how the, the industry works. But anyway, guys, I want to say good morning, everyone. Have a blessed week. And that's my update on my action camera set up for um, my blogging and as far as the studio. So you guys have a great week and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and feel free to comment in the sections if you have any questions that I'm qualified to answer. I will most likely uh, get to those right away. Peace. I'm out.